Good morning once again. Now, the COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted business as we know it. Some companies have had to retrench their staff, while others were forced to close their doors. With production scaled down, some businesses have been forced to cut salaries as well. Well, this morning, we're discussing the changing nature of employment during and after this pandemic. I'm joined now by Momentum Consultants and Actuaries Executive Director Blessing Utete. Blessing, good morning and thanks so much for your time. And we all hear bits and pieces about how different businesses, uh, industries are coping or not not coping uh, with this pandemic, what are some of the, the common changes, the, the sort of common adaptations that you've noticed in, uh, in business in general? Uh, good morning, Rebecca, and good morning to your viewers. Um, so, so really, I think you know, COVID-19 has thrust businesses into adapting very quickly to a, a massive digital transformation. And one of the significant changes that we've seen is really the move um, towards uh, more gig type uh, type work. So we've actually started to, to see the prevalence of freelance short term, uh, more flexible type of work becoming prevalent. Um, and it's really because of the ability um, to utilize technology that's been that most companies have been trusted in by COVID-19. So by default, then, are we seeing with the, with the added or extra use of technology, those who are tech savvy are probably coping better than others at this point. Are we seeing the workforce probably going to get much younger? And, you know, I'm not ageist, but you would imagine that the older somebody gets, the, the more difficult it is for some people to actually adapt to that technology, those who are used to a traditional workplace, or to even figure out how to use it. Yes, I think that, that is that is where we're heading to. I think we, we already in, uh, had seen pre-COVID, um, you know, the younger generations have um, adapted to this type of, of work, you know, freelancing short term, you know, the side hustles, as they call it nowadays in, in, this, in this day and age. So a lot of the younger generation had adapted quite quickly to this. But I think, you know, the cost pressures that employers are facing and the recruitment challenges, you know, restructuring and retrenchments, has meant that many, even the older generation, have had to adapt to this new way of work quite quickly as well. Um, so the skills are required, but just that the, the nature of the work and, and how people apply their skills to the industry has, has changed. So you find even very skilled elderly uh, employees are adapting to this new way of work. Hmm. So I suppose then, you know, it, it, it begs the question, what happens to those who, who just can't cope, those who actually can't make it? What, what happens to things like their benefits? What happens to, you know, maybe their, their needs when, when it comes to planning for retirement maybe a little earlier than what they had planned for? So I think that that's really one of the challenges that we find in our, in our landscape from, an in, from a retirement funding perspective. Traditionally, employee benefits were for permanent employees, and, and they really didn't cater for this type of employee that's going to be, um, you know, working for a short, shorter time or more flexible um, or freelancing for an employer. So, so you'd find that the, the act, the Pension Funds Act itself had been structured in such a way that more permanent type employees get to uh, become members of retirement funds. But what we're seeing is that employers have had to think quite quickly, and, and, and their advisors and, and the industry at large has had to think, how can we adapt this new um, employee into the formal type of, of savings environment? Mm -hmm. um, and so what we're seeing is, is that um, most we're trying to encourage uh, industry to take on these employees and give them some sort of benefit arrangements. You know, in South Africa, the reality is that most employers, uh, most, most employees only save through the formal retirement savings that the employers provide. Mm -hmm. So if you, you can imagine if you're in a freelance type role, uh, and you're actually not included in the normal sort of retirement savings landscape, then you're actually excluded from, from the only form of savings that you would typically be enjoying if you were on a permanent employee basis. Mm. So what then of those younger gig workers you're talking about, the freelance workers as well, do we find that they, they, you know, they, they also need to sort of fine tune how they're planning for their futures as well? So, so what we what we had found, and a lot of research has been done around this, is that the younger employees uh, or the younger generation, uh, because they change jobs so frequently, one of the tragedies is that they haven't been able to save enough for retirement. Every time they change a job, um, they have taken the, the sort of retirement savings and cashed them out and used that money. What we're trying to encourage as an industry is that uh, employees, should, when they change jobs, if, even if they're in a freelance or a sort of short-term contract role, um, the savings that they have, they should be uh, utilizing those to 
carry on saving for retirement. They shouldn't take those and utilize them for other uses other than retirement savings. I think in addition also, we, we try, the reality is that an employer is able to utilize their numbers and the economies of scale to give cost-effective solutions for employees. And some of those cost-effective solutions will, will actually um, entail these big, big time employees being incorporated in savings. One of these solutions could be something like all right, blessing. Sorry, I, I think we're being interrupted by uh, another call there, but we do get the gist of what you were saying. And yes, the landscape is changing, and planning needs to be there. Needs to be some rethinking of how you're planning for that. But thanks for your time this morning.